Hey everybody, I'm soon back with my ordinary content in my living room YouTube studio. But in the meantime, I will do a quick tutorial here how we can remove this fishing line in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. So first of all, I just want to make a quick shout out to Patrick Carlson who provided me with the, this footage here. And they are recording a music video and Patrick is actually this guy here that is acting in this music video. So in this tutorial we are going from this to this. So I'm going to present to you different techniques how you can remove a wire or fishing line like this inside of Fusion. So let's just jump right in. When I first wanted to tackle this problem removing this fishing line I, I thought to myself why not just make a merge node and then just connect my footage into that merge node twice so we got this one going into the top and the bottom in this merge node and then we can take a line a line here a mask that we will just drag over the line like this so my idea first was that to just use that line and grow it a little bit and then in the merge node we could just offset the footage like this and of course, I was a little bit too carried away here with the border width, but let's do something like that and just soften that. Okay, let's, so let's just hide our mask. Let's see how that looks. So if we look at the top here, that looks pretty good, I guess. Let's just expand it a little bit and we can see before and after that that would work. But the problem here with this kind of footage is that there are many intricate details here with his face, with his glasses and nose and beard. So when we look at this, it becomes quite a mess. So I actually went online and tried to see if there actually is a dedicated wire removal tool, but not really in the node selection page here. But if you go to paint and let's just disconnect these for now we go into paint have a look at this here in paint we actually have a tool called wire removal so i'm going to choose this one and do exactly the same thing here you can see that we're getting lots of values here we can change to get this looking good for example we can try and the distance and this one is actually how wide your stroke will be just like my spline here before and we can also choose which i guess which kind of method it, it uses to remove the actual wire or or fishing line so we can choose edge blend that works a little bit more aggressively i guess it, it takes a pixel and just repeats it over this distance and the crossfade is much more uh, smooth and even but still as you can see we have a problem here that our uh, our nose and the glasses is quite messed up so how how do we solve this well the the easy way to solve this is to actually just do a couple of different setups with the this line removal tool so for example i'm going to take this line and be pretty aggressive with it by ex extending the distance here so we know that it will be looking good like this but before we move on we need to animate this polygon shape so fortunately they're very static in this scene so it won't take lots of keyframes here it does a couple of them and i guess you can see how this works you just go back and forth and put in your keyframes whenever you need to. So we got the top part pretty good. So now let's try to fix the rest of his face here. Let's go in here and press paint and let's just redo all of this. Our polygon tool, not wireframe, wire removal. Just make another here. I'm going to choose right here. So we got this top part of his face. So I'm going to be very delicate here and just add very, very little distance here, not be too aggressive with this value. And also I'm going to see what happens if we change it to edge blend. And I actually think that looks a little bit better with edge blend. Yeah, I'm going to not really, if you can see here in this here, you can see that it's a little bit too wide for this edge blend. 
because I think that this edge blend is better if you have a, a smaller distance and this one crossfade is better if you have wider distance but that's just my theory don't take my word for it so I'm going to choose crossfade and just add as much distance that I need so that looks pretty good we're going to need to keyframe this so I'm going to set an animation keyframe here you, you saw what I did and then we just go through this footage and just try to whoops I don't want to close if you if that happens you can just press this one this one modify only so now you can't add any keyframes on on this spline you can just modify what's already there okay so i am going to animate this quickly but you uh, probably gonna need a lot more keyframes to make this work so next up i'm going to do another paint here and i'm going to put this in between the media out and my last paint node and you know it's just going at it again with the wire removal here and my line tool and now we're going to start at his brows and then just place these points here and here. And again, we're going to uh, choose modify only so that we don't add any more key points here. And then we will play around with this distance here and we will want to hide the, the line itself. Well, we changed the distance, so I'm going to press command K on Mac I'm guessing it's control K on PC. So now my line is gone and we can just dial in the perfect distance here. And I think that is pretty good. Oops, that was a little bit too much. Maybe something like that. And now I'm going to see how Edge Blend works. And I think it actually works pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more. Yeah, I'm actually going to go with Edge Blend here. And once again, we need to animate this spline so i put in a keyframe here and then we move forward and then so there you have it now we're done and you know i prepared a little bit beforehand and as you can see that line is pretty pretty much gone it's, it's it really is seamless with this paint wire removal tool so i hope you found this tutorial interesting and useful and if you got any questions let me know in the comment section i will see you in the next one bye